This week's segment of on Animal Allies Newscast is bringing us to Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. The National Aquarium has a program called Terrapins in the Classroom where 51 hatchlings from Popular Island are brought into nine counties, 45 schools across Maryland for students to observe and record data. But what happens when the terrapin is in your school but not in your classroom? How can students observe the terrapin? This is a problem. A group of students at Beach Elementary came up with a way to solve this problem. They installed a tear cam, a live feed camera that captures the terrapin in its tank. This live feed is linked to their website so anyone can observe the terrapin any day and every day. We are going live to Jack at Beach Elementary School. I'm here at Beach Elementary School interviewing the Robotic Ravens, a group of students that put a camera in the Terrapin tank. This TerraCam has gotten tremendous amount of views. Why did you put a camera in the Terrapin tank? Before the TerraCam, only students who were in the classroom with the Terrapin could observe our state reptile. Now that we have the TerraCam, students in all grades and classrooms can observe the Terrapin. We wanted to share what the terrapin does and what it looks like so more people can observe the Maryland State Reptile. Having the terracam encourages our classmates to ask questions and learn about the terrapin. Our family can watch the terracam and learn what we are doing. Hopefully those that observe our terracam can take action and to improve our, ba our habitat of the terrapin, the Chesapeake Bay. What are some things you have learned that threaten the terrapin? start to terrapins are crab pots. More males get stuck in them because they are smaller. There are ways to make crab pots more safe for turtles. We hope people will see our terrapin and be more respectful of the Chesapeake Bay, a habitat of the diamondback terrapin. <laughs> I had the opportunity to talk with other students at Beach Elementary School about the TerraCam. I'm in, in first grade. It's so fun to see the Terrapin. I don't have to wait until third grade to learn about them. As a third grader, I can see the Terrapin in my classroom. I only saw it once before because it was in a different classroom. I had so much fun watching the Terrapin in third grade, and now I get to see it again. <laughs> I am live at Bayfront Beach Boardwalk in Chesapeake Beach, Maryland. This is within walking distance to Beach Elementary School. Excuse me? Have you heard about the TerraCam at Beach Elementary School? Check out this live feed from the TerraCam. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so going to share that to my family. The students created this live feed, and this is I'm at Beach Elementary School. We didn't have this technology when I was a kid. What a great way to improve relationships between our state reptile and humans. Thank you for tuning into our weekly segment on Animal Allies. And congratulations to Robotic ra Ravens for increasing the exposure to the diamond back terrapins. Hey!